We are Sean, Emma, Rex and Maggie, and in this series we head on a tour of South West Scotland in Rennie, our motorhome. In this episode, we explore Maybe Forest on foot and by bike. Morning everyone, we are currently two weeks into our four and a bit week trip. Um, we have made it up to Maybe Forest, which is number four of our Seven Stains mountain bike tour. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> um, so today, I think what's going to happen is Sean's going to head out on the red trail here. Um, I'm going to take the dogs for a little wander and then later on I'm going to take on the blue trail and we're just going to see what it's all about. It's supposed to be sunny all day, so that's a bonus. Fingers crossed. <laughs> yeah, uh, it is chilly. I've got my hat on. I've just been outside and it is a little bit chilly. Um, but once we're on the bikes, I'm sure it'll be fine. Yeah, we'll be alright. Yeah, so time for a coffee um, and fuel up before we head out for a day of hopefully fun. <laughs> I'm sure it will be. Now we're here. Maybe Forest Access Road is a single track with some speed bumps and no passing places. While it's only half a mile up the road to the main car park, it could be tricky in a large vehicle if it was busy. So the dogs and I are heading out on our little walk. We're just doing a, a couple of miles today because I'm going to go on my bike this afternoon. Um, so we've picked the purple route here, which is about two and a quarter miles, something like that. Um, so yeah, so we'll see what it's like. The forest looks beautiful already, and especially because the sun's out, it looks amazing. <laughs> Maybe Forest was bought by the Scottish Forestry Commission in 1943 as part of a wartime tree planting scheme to rebuild timber reserves. It's a mecca for Scottish wildlife, including home to 20 of Scotland's 32 resident species of butterfly. Maybe Forest is the original home of mountain biking in Dumfries and Galloway, and was the first purpose-built trail centre of its kind in the region. Unfortunately, unlike most of the other Seven Stains car parks, you're not allowed to stay the night in this location. However, with several hiking trails alongside the mountain biking, there is a picnic area, a play area, and the beautiful Maybe House Hotel, open to muddy boots and bumps. Their words, not ours. It's definitely worth a visit. Oh, and they're dog friendly too. Well, that was a nice little walk. Back, made it back to Rennie. So while Emma takes the dogs off for a walk, I'm going to head up on the red trail here at Maybe, which is the Phoenix Trail, and here's the highlights.
hello. 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 Hello, good boy. Hello, all right. That's all it. right. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that was that was the best so far, that. Oh really? Without a doubt. What do you mean? Yeah, like... it was just a total mix of natural and trail center so there was jumps there was drops really everything it was really good yeah really enjoyed really it. good I really didn't enjoyed that. To say that yeah yeah definitely i mean dalbiti was good but it's all natural this is a mix of both so yeah really good quite long yeah well i was stopping filming that explains the jiggy jiggy jagger jig jiggy jig yes yeah. on the old Strava. I was like, yeah. what is he playing at? No, that's because I kept going back up and doing sections again because they were that good. Cool. It was really good. Yeah. So yeah, thumbs up to maybe, maybe the best. Let's see what Glenn Tress has got, but maybe the best. <laughs> so I've come out to do the blue trail. I've done the first bit of a climb. I think there's quite a long climb on this route so it's a little bit longer than the Glentral Blue at about six miles so it's not too bad so so far it's been a bit of forest path and a bit of fire track there's the skills park just there so at the moment we're still going up still climbing <laughs> Looks like our first little bit of single track is still the green route as well, so I can't expect it to be too difficult. There we go. off from now so yeah another little bit of blue here so I'm gonna put my uh, goggles on right let's do this I didn't realise at this point was that after these two very short sections of easy single track I would be back on the fire roads and there would be no additional blue single track sections for the rest of the route. If I'm honest, after riding at Glentral and Albiti, I was hoping for a trail with slightly more difficulty than Glentral but slightly less than Albiti and that gave me several sections to test my ability as a beginner. Unfortunately, this blue just did not deliver and left me very, very grumpy. Which is such a shame as Sean really enjoyed the red trail. If you are brand new to mountain biking or just want a family friendly trail, then this blue is perfect. But with no technical features, any noticeable gradient and just how short the single track section is, I'm not sure if it's worth the effort to travel to maybe just to ride the blue. So um, the hotel, maybe country hotel, I think it's called, maybe hotel. Looks absolutely beautiful, but they allow mountain bikers for on B&B basis, so it's like 35 quid. And then um, the car park is your typical Scottish Forestry Commission car park, three pound to park all day. The only thing here is you can't sleep, so you can't stay overnight um, in this one. But that's fine because we've got a campsite booked. And there's Rene. So after a day on the trails, we headed to our campsite called the Park of Branded Lees, where things got a little bit strange. It's like a scene out of Alfred Hitchcock's The Birds. I think that's what you call a murder of crows. There's been a murder. Thank you. 
We also thought we'd try another Scottish national favourite, Iron Brew. Hands up who remembers the ad. Iron Brew, made from Gettys. Yes, all right. <laughs> Join us next time when we head to A Forest, do some car park camping and make a visit to Dumfries Town. Thank you.